Charles the Cannons, Charles the Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Amiibo Challenge where, God willing, we will get a victory. I mean, we've got, we've had one. Derek heroically defeated. Heroically. Heroically. <laughs> not by luck whatsoever. 100% <laughs> skill and nothing else. <laughs> Uh, Destroyed zero suit stabbers so once upon a time. We have not done well. We haven't. Um, that being said, Jay and I, I feel like every work break that we take, yeah. come and play, and he is getting very good. So we, I feel we like we shall see. Maybe it's 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 astounding to me the difference between playing while I'm fully focused and playing whilst trying to give advice mid question. Yeah, yeah yes. I said it's very different. So yeah. maybe during my turn, I'm going to stand off to the side and let you guys talk. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's the other tactic we've learned is standing. Oh, oh yeah, standing. I feel like I'm such a better player. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what's up. Really? Yeah. All right. Move. Well, so can we get a, a dice roll to see oh, yeah. who plays who first? Plays first. Playing oh, first God. will be Jay. Oh boy. Oh, okay. All right. right. And who he shall be we playing? Be? Oh God. Number four, Jowser. Jowser, 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 Jowser. All right, Jowser. All right. let's so see. So I have it. a question. What um, happens right. if Jay Jowser's wins? Jowser's little symbol in the middle there. Oh, okay. Is yes. Different from all of so the others. So if you've enhanced them, there's basically a rock paper scissors thing going on. If it's the neutral one, I think it's just gray. But then there's like grab, attack, and defense. And so if you have um, grab, it's good. That's what he has. It's good against the shield. The shield is good against the sword, and the sword is good against the Grab. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The worst thing matters if they're facing each other. The thing. Yes. I'm gonna go big G. We're mixing it up, and I'm gonna go stand over here. So sorry if you can't hear me as well. Come <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here. Don't I, worry. When he was saying he was going to stand to the side, I thought that he meant like. Symbolically? <laughs> <laughs> no, if you could see our setup, I yeah, Jay, Jay is got now. up, walked around, go into the oh, side where he had been playing. Officially far from us. I'm I'm gonna laugh if if he wins because of this. Oh, I I have I have some significant faith. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm, I'm definitely gonna take a picture of it and just like post it on my Patreon. Right. Oh, big hit! Oh, oh. Yeah, patreoncom slash Gaming. Uh, oh, probably goodness. before I take the picture, I should ask the question. If you could, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. So the question that we have today is from Potterfan33, who oh, says, Hey brothers, DK and Jordan. Last year, I was living with several people and ended up for fall falling wow, for one of my roommates. I never really knew where things stood with us, but on the day we all moved out, he told me that he had feelings for me too, and oh. he would consider moving with me to my home state. Oh, so, like, boy. sounds sounds good so far, right? But, like, well, in a, <laughs> let's live together still? I don't know, maybe. Uh, but the next sentence says, it sounds great, except for a few weeks later, when we hadn't really talked much, I saw on Instagram he had a new girlfriend. Because of that, we didn't talk for months until he broke up with her. Then he asked if he, we could video chat. We did. He asked if I was coming to visit. At that point, I had kind of accepted that maybe we just weren't friends anymore, but talking made me realize I still have feelings for him. We still don't talk super often, but it's enough to make it very hard to move on. Oh, look at this. Do you have any advice on whether I should move on or if I should try to reconnect? And if so, how? Okay. You know what's interesting with the if I should move on questions? The answer is almost always you should probably move on. Right, right, right. right, right. You're, you're yeah. circling the drain on it right now. You just you like don't want to go all the way. Yeah. Right, otherwise you're going to end up with one of those spouses who'd be like, they never gave up, they just kept trying, and finally I gave in. <laughs> and it's like, and you're going to have to listen to that story. Yeah, it's like, yay, I'm so glad you finally gave in. <laughs> On the off chance that you couldn't hear what Jay said because he's actually standing separately, he said, uh, if you're thinking about moving on, it means you're circling the drain already. Yeah. yeah. So, the, I mean, the interesting thing, and I feel like we've used this phrase oh, many a time, Jay, you're doing so good, come on, you can do this. Uh, no! Oh my gosh, it was so close! Freaking Jowser! I'm so glad that happened, man. Oh my, I can't After believe... the second death, I thought... Yeah, no. you, like, he, like, took a fall. We don't normally see that happen. He took a fall on me, too. Gosh. Yeah. Oh my man. gosh! No, that was just... He's very powerful. Uh, uh, I'm but, back to the couch now. Yes. <laughs> Jay sadly comes back uh, to the couch. Uh, the look of defeat all over his face. Shame. So shame. I had it. I had it. I really. I thought you did, Jay. I thought you did. Uh, well, this is not going to be any better. So. Do you want to stand up too? Yeah. You know, I might. I might stand up. <laughs> I'll, I'll stand right where is. Right where I stand. Okay. We'll, we'll move um, the mic back a little. There we go. Yeah. For me. 
Um, no, okay, so back to our, our person's question of the day, though. It, it sounds like a classic case of being on the hook. It does. Uh, um, it does. And I feel like the big thing that seems to be happening with this particular situation um, is that it, it's maybe not like a steady, like constant, like the person is using them as like their emotional support whenever they need somebody type thing. It's just sort of like maybe if ever they are somewhat lonely, they are calling to our, our friend here. Sure. Oh, goodness oh, me. Oh, boom, boom. Nice, nice. shot, bro. Yeah, it, 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 it very much sounds like a case of on the hook. Not as not like it's not like as bad as seen other people where it's like so active and everyone like every single day you're talking to this person and they're like yeah I'm totally gonna break up with them yeah this. oh yeah uh, and it's like when it, it's purposeful right like yeah. it's not this this sounds uh, I mean there's I mean this is this is a very gray line I would say and uh, one is very similar to the other but I would almost use the phrase like safety netting oh sure. that yeah right. that's what you. it sounds like to me yeah like like. They, I, I would assume, have very um, bad loneliness issues, um, and oh gosh! Jeez. Yeah, Potter fan, my piece of advice is you are, it seems, this person's backup plan right now, mm -hmm. and you yeah. deserve to be someone's first choice. You do, you do. Oh, that was, that was awesome. Slight. That was a great job, bro. Oh, jeez. Uh -huh. um, oh, yeah, you almost it, hit the counter. Oh. And like I feel like everybody has had some kind of situation where whoop, no, oh, no. Oh, the recovery on Incineroar. It's just not so not wonderful. great. Is that his up B? Yeah. Oh, that's not great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His up B goes down. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's oh. honestly it's a great attack while you're in the field of play oh, sure, because yeah. you can sort of like launch up and get him on that kind of twofer, but yeah, yeah. otherwise. Mm. Anyway, sorry to interrupt our steady flow of, of handy advice there. Um but yeah, have, have any of you guys ever been on the hook before? Not on. Definitely. Um, I've been on the hook. I've, been, I've also unintentionally had people had people on the hook. I think I think I perhaps unintentionally had people on the yeah. hook. That could be the other thing is that you might not always realize what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like is, the person that is doing this might not be doing it um, like on purpose or with their or with knowledge right. of doing it. I, I right. do feel like that's what it ultimately comes down to. Like both. Oh boy. I almost feel like you have to have been on the hook before Gandalf, to, huh? to recognize what is happening when you're then doing it. Yeah. Yep. Like the amount of perspective involved, because you can probably rationalize the situation so well where it's like, no, they're just like my really good friend who likes to, you know, support all the things I do and talk to me whenever I'm sad, but like I never have to give them anything more. It's, it's particularly bad if they're openly expressing romantic feelings and refusing to act on them. It, right, like always just like uh, kind of wow. extending the deadline the as there. to when, right. uh, yeah, as to when it may happen. Um, that's that's the that's, big thing. That's really the damaging thing, because then it's just like, well, if you like me, I don't understand what the problem is. Like, if you want to be with me, be with me. You know? or, right, yeah. right, like, right, if, yeah. yeah if, you're, if you're actually unhappy, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yes. if, if someone wants to be with you, they will find out a way to do that. That's yeah. That's what that's what it ultimately comes down to. But on, uh, the, on the other geez. hand, it sounds like this person is dealing with not only a slight on the hip. <gasps> oh yeah, kill. I did it. You did. <laughs> it's all me. Uh, they also have a bit of a um, long distance thing going. Oh. Look out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh on my the goodness. Long distance is Whatever. so hard. Jeez. So yeah, I mean it'd be one. It, mm, it's it's tough. Um, I, I think the thing that I would be, I feel like is the cruel or maybe like upsetting way to think about this, especially if you guys don't talk very often, it makes me think that like that video call that came about once upon a time, I would maybe even venture to say that it wasn't the first person that that person possibly reached out to. Or, or the last step. Ooh. As like, which is like a really sad way to look at it. Like, I mean, it's it's certainly not. But like, what else? What else can explain the non-continued communication right, on not... like a regular basis? That's what trips me up the most. Where it's like, mm -hmm. usually, if you're on the hook, what it means is like this person's using you as like a pretty significant daily crutch. Um, Often, you know, as as like a you know emotional support system. Right. This to me sounds like uh, like I, I want to keep you around just in case more situation. Oh, hang on. We're on solo battle. Okay. Also, I'm not in. <laughs> that. We're, we need a D-Rock. Oh. You're, you gotta, 
But we can break real quick for today's Patreon sponsor of the day. Comes from Annalise, who says, today is going to be a great day and here's why. Because today at least, you're you and well, that's enough. I actually kind of love that. Mm -hmm. That is actually a quote from Dear Evan Hansen, which is a musical that's been really popular lately. And um, it's funny because as much as I had been pushing her, so uh, Annalise is in our Discord, obviously. Yes. Um, being a sponsor and everything. And so back when Hamilton was really big, I, she was one of the people who I'm like, you will love this, you should listen to it. And she did and she loved it. And on the flip side, she's been pushing me to listen to Dear Evan Hansen ever since she listened to it. And, and I finally did. It's so good. good. Uh, super Lots good. Oh man, Evan yeah. yeah. What, was that, was it also made into a, a movie? Am, oh, I being, am I being too mainstreamy here? It is not yet. Okay. Are we, all right. Yes, you are on teams. Please beat the Jowser. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I messed it up. I thought you had I it, Jay. So I I, it. I've watched you win that battle have, like five I times now. I have defeated Jowser like three or four times just in practice. And... Are you guys both? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Jay was talking about how Ganondorf seemed to be the key for him. And yeah. I'm like, what? Well, like Ganondorf. Yeah. Hey, Derek did lots of Ganondorf. Charlie Gannon. Yeah. Charlie Gannon, Charlie Gannon. Yeah, I don't know. Of course Ganondorf was the um, true pirate. So, jumping back to <laughs> on the hook stories, does anybody have a story about when they were on the hook or when they kept somebody on the hook? Oh man. Either on purpose or accidentally? So I would say that like my most significant relationship in high school, I was on the hook the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was like... Oh, you know, yeah, you're talking about this. Yeah, yeah. I, I have talked about it on... I feel like you were on the hook with like, with, I think... You were just like, you must have just been really tasty bait. Tasty bait? Tasty, tasty oh, bait. Like you tasty were on the hook with like a few girls at different times, uh, if I recall. Yeah, it, it seemed like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like fell very nicely into that like best friend card uh, position or something. You're just um, too charming. Oh, that's it. Let's, we'll go with too charming. Too that charming. seems like the, the less offensive version of this, <laughs> <laughs> which is too much of a sucker. Um, no, but the weirdest thing that I would say about oh, shoot. Um, <laughs> I to... on the hook situations is it can be really, really, really hard to get past it because like that little glimmer of hope right. is that, such a it, big thing. It'll have made it all worth it if it just works out. Right, right, right. Like all the all the waiting, all the patience, all the everything. Um, and you're but such good friends, and you'd be so great together. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like the, and that's the thing. This is when people love to use that term, best friend. Is because I, I feel like it's it's not a friendship that's built on like mutual respect. It is it is a one sided Ooh, situation, um, and that's where the the real problem comes into play. Is when people start like toting it as no, we're best friends. It's like you are not best friends. Yeah, they're being really um, mean to you. Yeah, being really nice to you. Exactly, and it's, yeah, it's which a, is a weird. It's hard to catch. It's very hard to catch. It sounds to me the overall piece of advice I have for this person is you need to yeah yes get over it. Right. Yeah, Let, right. Unless they come and straight up ask you out, will you be my girlfriend, whatever. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. But here's the thing, too, about getting over having been on the hook. That person, at least in my personal experience, is like, if you have a favorite food and then you have, like, the flu. Right. And, like, you're, like, all of a sudden you just, like, are sickened mm -hmm. by, like, eating chicken again or something like right. that. Right. That is exactly how I was with this person, where it was like once sure. I got over it and I was able to like take a step back and realize like what how happened? much I had been like dragged along. Oh my gosh, like my, it went from like, you know, this uh, infatuation with a person mm -hmm. to just literal utter disgust. Did you sure. suffer any amount of like, uh, like shame or like feeling like, oh God, I was such a sucker, like? Like well, feeling foolish or anything? I think because it seems like in most of these situations, it always feels so much clearer to all of the people around you. Yeah. And so like once you're able to step back and see all of these situations where you like argued why your situation was unique and different and it's mm -hmm. like, no, you guys just don't understand. Right. It's like, no, you guys understood better yeah, than me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So exactly. I think that's probably the worst part is, is looking back on it and having realized that like, you were kind of being taken. Right. But I mean, there's also nothing wrong with, you know, following your emotions. Right, yeah. You can't help that. Right. You can't help that. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Oh my gosh, we were so close to beating Jowser. So close. Uh, I feel like next week uh, is next the week, week for sure. Week. It's, yeah. it's coming. We are going down. I'm gonna stand even further away from you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I yeah. think you, maybe you just go into a, a yeah. different room I'm altogether. I'm gonna be up here. I'll be down the stairs. I'll be like, yeah. tell me where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. <laughs> B. Yeah, that, that's the next challenge. Blindfolded. Blindfolded. Oh smash. <laughs> up, 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 up. Left. Dodge. <laughs> I said. Yeah. Anyway. Oh man. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, you need answers or advice on a situation, uh, please leave it in the towel section down below, and uh, hopefully we will get to it at some point. Otherwise, thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, Charlie Cannon, Charlie Cannon, boom, 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 we are pirates. <laughs>